Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, let's try to solve a Python program. That is, write a Python program to print your name 100 times. So, given a name that is a string type, so you have to print it 100 times. So, that is a problem statement. So, let's try to solve this. So, there are three ways to solve this. First is using the multiply operator using the star. Second is using the for loop and uh, third is using the while loop. So let's look into all the three methods of printing the name 100 times. So let me take a variable name and uh, use the input function call. So first we are working on using the multiply operator that is the first method. So let's try to solve this. So here in the input function, so let's say enter a name. Yeah, so once the user enters a name, so it will be stored in the variable name. Yeah, so once we get the variable name, so let's print something that is uh, printing name 100 times. Let's give dot dot dot. So this is a user friendly message that I have printed. And now in order to print the name 100 times, so let's use a print statement and here so let's take a variable name and uh, let's add slash n to it that is plus the slash n and here so let's multiply it with the 100 so let's combine these two that is name and the slash n yeah so this is the first method to print your name 100 times so let me show you how it works executing the program and let's say something like a string name so let's give Albert so you can see the name has been printed hundred times let me move it up yeah so this is the first method to print the name hundred times so let me minimize this so let me delete this so this is using the multiply operator that is star on a string. Now let's look into the for loop. Let me delete this. So we will be using the for loop to print the name 100 times. So let me take a variable name and use the input function call. And here let's ask a user to enter a name. Yeah, so once the user enters a name, so we will be using uh, for loop to iterate from 0 to 100 and uh, print the name so let's use for loop and uh, yeah i don't need the index so let's give underscore and i'll be using in range function and i'll be passing 100 to it yeah so once we use the for loop to iterate from 0 to 100 so let's print it let's print the name yeah, so this is the second method to use the for loop to iteration and uh, print the name. So let me run this and enter a name. So let's get, let's say Sarah and uh, you can see the Sarah has been printed 100 times. Going up. Yeah, so this is 100 times it has printed and now so let's use a while loop so let me delete this and uh, let me delete this so let's look into the third method that is using the while loop so in case of while loop so we have to get the index and uh, as well as increment the index so let's take a variable index and initialize it to zero and now we have to take while loop that is while index is less than 100 so what you have to do is just use the iteration that is uh, print the name and increment the index index equals to index plus one yeah so this is what uh, while loop works so you have initialized the index and uh, checking the condition over here and incrementing the index yeah, so this is a method to use a while loop and uh, print your name 100 times. So let me execute it. And here let's say John. 
and you can see the John has been printed 100 times. Going down. Yeah, so these are three methods to use uh, or you can use the three methods to print your name 100 times. So I'll give all the three method code in the description of this video. So that's it in this video. Hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. Bye.